So now the owner is ready to move forward with a larger order. I'm going to start selling <gasps> candle business mishaps. He hunted me down to purchase more candles, so wow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision, where I share with you all beauty and fitness and hauls and just everything you could possibly think of regarding candles. <laughs> and that's what this video is about. This is a candle business vlog. This is episode six. <laughs> yes, you guys have been loving them. I just wanted to give you, wow, look how crazy that looks, you guys. This is what's happening. I want to give you guys episode six, okay? It's gonna be really fun. And I thought that it's time. It's time to create summer candles and just as much inventory as I can have over there and keep this as organized as possible. I'm gonna incorporate the little minis. I'll show you guys, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to start selling. <sighs> there was fragrance oil in it. Look, this happened in real life. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Look at this, that's fragrance oil. It's yin and yang. Ah, heartbreaking. Just put that down. I think is, I hope I didn't get into the cocoa cream. Let's pray. Pray your hands, you guys. Pray your hands. Okay, I want to slowly open it. It didn't touch it. Candle business mishaps. <sighs> Man, I just bought some more alcohol, guys, so I'm about to use it now. A lot of cleanup to do. Wow, can't believe that really happened. Like, I'm holding the camera super weird right now. But yeah, I just spilled some yin and yang fragrance oil to try to show you guys that mini vessel. Let's go back and try to show you what I was trying to show you. This is what I was trying to show you, these little mini vessels are what I'm gonna be selling because I bought a bunch of them during quarantine back in the day when I realized the jars that I love conveniently are the most sold, the ones that are in high demand, of course. And I remember I was so hesitant to purchase them. The first time I purchased jars was the Libby um, Clear 8 ounce vessels, which was fine. Yeah, that's good, good choice. But then, with the Libby's, I um, realized, okay, they're not as cute. And then I came across these cute Oxford black, matte black jars, and I was like, ooh, super cute. Totally want to go with this, you know? So I decided to purchase them from Asset Candle, which is now Candles and Supplies. So I purchased them from there, and guys, horrible because I only purchased 12 and as soon as I purchased them they were sold out so I purchased the last dozen of them and from that moment on it took me like four months to really get more Oxfords so I finally got 36 more Oxfords so I was pretty solid there and they sold out again <laughs> so I still have to get more but I have lots of the matte black luxury dream 10 vessels from dreamvessels.com and then I have lots of those mini ones I just showed you so we're gonna make it work okay so definitely stay tuned for this video if you do like videos like this please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to don't miss out anything else that I post all right the first thing we're gonna jump into is cleaning this mess which is the aftermath of Mother's Day <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna take you guys through like a three minute time lapse you would think it was three minutes but it's really gonna take me like an hour so yeah let go Okay guys, I just wanted to come on here and share this moment with you. <laughs> so I make um, candle business Excel sheets that help you keep track of your expenses and someone commented on one of my posts. She said, can you send one to this email? And then I stumbled upon an email I got yesterday from the owner of the store that sells my candles. And okay, guys, backstory on this. Uh, in my last video, I shared with you all how my candles are now sold in the mall. And with that, the first step of the process was to pitch the candles to the owner. The person I was working with is so sweet, Shayna. She told me to only make nine candles, and I only made nine candles and brought them to the store. 
and they've sold. So now the owner is ready to move forward with a larger order. <laughs> so I'm so excited. He has three stores in the area. He has two stores in this city and then one store in another city and they're in the mall. They're not in regular boutiques. These are in high traffic malls in the area, <laughs> my Jesus. And the one that I sell them at that's been doing well is two doors down from Bath and Body Works. So that's why I just wanna come on here and tell y'all to keep God first. Cause that doesn't make any sense, you know? It's logically not an ideal location. However, it's doing very well because of God. And I just thank God that it's doing so well, guys. So I, hopefully he'll tell me how many he wants, either today or tomorrow I just replied. And I'll show you guys how I make the candles again. I can't, and then, oh my God, I can't believe this. I wonder how many he'll want. And I just pray that the vessels come back into stock or I find a vessel that'll work better, that he actually likes. I've been looking online and as you all know, Libby straight tumblers are sold out everywhere. So I've been looking online trying to find them. Looks like candle signs will have them May 26th. However, it's, it's likely that he would probably want the order earlier than May 26th. So I'm just praying that, I'm just praying that there's something that happens with regard to getting this the vessel's in next week, in Jesus' name, or a better vessel, in Jesus' name, whatever he wants to be done will be done. But guys, I just want to come over here and tell y'all, keep God first. This is amazing. I only gave them nine candles, and I was praying they would sell. I came and checked in, and there were five left, and I was like, okay, that's cool. And then, yesterday, he emailed me. So, <laughs> hallelujah. God, I thank you. Unfortunately, the woman who you know put this blessing in my life with regard to wholesale they let her go from the company so I really hope she finds a better opportunity and I cannot believe he he researched me to hunt me down because she had my cell number he didn't he hunted me down to purchase more candles so wow this is crazy I did not know and that's the thing about God though if it's meant for you it comes naturally and you are supposed to rise to the occasion and realistically you guys seen my website you guys know all I do is decadent long-lasting fragrances with honey vanilla maple chai all those delicious fragrances but I knew that with this partnership with the healing mineral company that you should do healing property candles so I did the tea tree oil the lemongrass I did the lavender those are the types of scents that I knew would resonate with the types of people who purchase minerals and they have been selling and who knew it's such a great idea realistically to have the minerals inside the candle because you want the minerals in general but you want to have that peaceful moment with your candle where you meditate and my Jesus it was like the best situation so I just want to come in here and tell y'all keep God first and yeah Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. I never show you guys a before. I just realized that. I always show you me cleaning. So here's a before.
know you saw me take all those boxes out, but I'm really just, you know, I'm just trying to take inventory to see how many of each vessel I have. This is all I have right now, to be honest. I think, you know? <laughs> Comment below if you're a candle maker, and you know what I mean? Like, this might be everything, but I might have something hidden. No, this is everything. How crazy this feels. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. You gotta keep it. Cause I was just selling candles and it just occurred to me, I'm running low on everything, on vessels. But that's fine. Cause we can re-up. I do an unboxing for y'all. Y'all love unboxing, so I'll do that for sure. And I need to re-up on fragrance oil. I ordered from this new uh, fragrance oil location. They have my favorite white tea and sage that I love from Bath and Body Works. They have it, so I'm really excited to try it and see if it smells the same or even better. And if I should include it in my summer collection, because you guys know, summer's around the corner, so I'm creating a summer collection too. <sighs> the guy, the wholesale guy, hasn't gotten back to me yet. So he said, he gave me, like, you know how you overanalyze something when it's like a really great opportunity. He emailed me and he said, I also sent you a message on Facebook and here is my direct contact number. You can also text. So I'm thinking I'm going to text him tomorrow, you know, if he doesn't email me back today. So this morning, I took the initiative, like I told you yesterday. So I texted him and I texted him around 9.30 and right now it's about 4.15. So he waited until the end of the day. He said, do you have a list of your mineral collection? I can't find them on your website. If you haven't seen my last candle business vlog where I talked about the minerals, go back to that video. Episode four where I explained to you guys about how the store manager had reached out to me and was like, can you make these candles? And um, they were never on my site, but I just rose to the occasion, fight or flight, I flew. I mean, I fought. <laughs> so I made the candles and he said, where are the candles? I can't see them online. And then all I did was, cause I'm really smart. I just sent him the pictures of the candle cards, which I'll insert right here for you guys. The candle cards that me and the store manager, Shayna, were going to you know, print out and have in the store, but she unfortunately got uh, terminated. So that really sucks. But yeah, so I sent him those cards and he was like, okay, I want 24, give me 24 candles. I'm like, that's, that's like a good little chunk of money. That's a good little change. But I was hoping he would want a hundred, you know? A hundred would be better. And it's super exciting because it's something I've been wanting to do. Like, I'm pumped, you have no idea. <laughs> Okay guys, good morning, it's Saturday, I'm hype. I have only had green tea, I haven't even had my coffee yet, look. See, coffee is right there, I just brewed it and I am so hype, I don't think I should drink it, but then the way my extreme workouts are set up, I'm about to chug it. So to do that, <laughs> I just like, let me put you guys down. To do that, I just grab a straw and go crazy. Yep, had to do that, it had to happen. <laughs> the type of coffee I drink is this. And, oh, sometimes, like, <laughs> so how much better it got when I turn the light off. <laughs> but yeah, I drink this coffee, guys. Madagascar vanilla, two times coffee. It has me lit every day. So I'm super excited, guys. I'm about to go to the gym. <laughs> I told you yesterday he replied, 24 candles, I have to make them. I just placed the order with Aztec. Um, we're in a shortage of lids, guys. Lids are in a shortage too. Finally found some Libby vessels, but I need some of these. I love the fight to get all the supplies together and then make the mission exceed his expectations because what's gonna happen is, if he orders 24 this time, they sell out, he's gonna order another 24 and another 24. And before you know it, your girl's gonna have a fast savings account. <laughs> So that's the goal. So yeah, I'm about to go to the gym and then I'll check back in with you guys later. I'll try to get some clips at the gym. I can never get clips at the gym, but I'll try today. I sit beside the keyhole 
glimpsing at the world outside. I felt like I was dreaming. Okay guys, I got a package. I just got a notification that the package has been delivered, so I'm gonna go get it. I really think it is my fragrance oils, which I'm super excited to share with you guys because I got some new fragrances because summer's coming and I wanna share a fragrance haul and show you what I'm planning, what I got on the books for summer. So yeah, we're gonna go to the, what's it called? What's that thing called? The mailbox. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back in the car with it. I really, really hope it's here. Cause I would hate to be filming this and drive all the way to the mailbox for it not to be here. It said delivered, but you know, USPS is USPS. I'm so happy so I got just a few different sets that I wanted to try out and I'm so happy that it got here Aztec was playing games in my brain okay because I ordered this on Saturday and then I noticed I didn't get any notification that it had been shipped and it was Friday so I was like is it shipped yet and I look on their site and they say they have a four to five business day processing time so I'm like wow that's such a long time <laughs> for it to be priority mail. Or maybe they're just backed up in orders. Yeah, so I just looked on their site, on my account, because you create your own account on certain candle sites. So I created my own account. And when I looked on there, I noticed that it was already, it said out for, it, was, it said it was scheduled to deliver on Saturday. So I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing because I wanted to share these with you guys for this vlog. I got another huge candle fragrance oil order I made for, from Studio Candle, which I will show you guys in a separate video next week. But I just wanted to show you these because they came in. It smells so strong. And you know, with fragrance oil, you kind of get nervous when it smells too strong. It's like, oh, I hope nothing spilled. Like this paper smells so strong, you have no idea. So let's just pray. Okay, so looking at them, you can see one spilled, which is okay, all right? And the reason why it's okay is because I'm gonna take them. <laughs> like, if you spend all this money and they can't tape up your fragrance oils, that's just disrespectful. So, yeah, um, it was this one that spilled. Endless love, guys. It smells so good. It's the Victoria's Secret type. I got this around Valentine's Day because I wanted to try some Valentine's scent, and I never used this one. Fell in love with it, and I totally want to include it in my summer collection because you guys know all I have is dessert type fragrances on my site right now. You know, honey vanilla, maple chai, sangria, things like that that aren't floral or fragrant, high perfumey. So I wanted to go perfumey this time. So. Uh, my deepest fear is that the fragrance got into the other fragrances, you know? Because everyone, like this is ice cream parlor and it smells like endless love. But not on the inside, it's on the outside. So we're good, we're good, we're good. Like, comment below 
if you ever ran into the scenario where they sent you some fragrance that spilled, you know? So yeah, I, the first thing I got was Endless Love, then I got Ice Cream Parlor because I used it in my Honey Vanilla. If you haven't seen my revealing my secret candle recipe, I'll put the link right here for you guys to check that out because Honey Vanilla is not just Honey Vanilla. I do a lot of little different things to make it smell so good, so delicious, so yummy, makes you just want to eat something, but you got a candle. <laughs> I got two scents for them because I love it. It smells so good. It smells like if you were to go on a date night and spray some good, strong perfume, not the mist, but like a good fragrance, a fine fragrance, that's what it smells like. And so I think women would love that, or men, if they're going on a date or they're trying to have some good, happy time, freak time, <laughs> they could get, have this good fragrant candle. I don't know what I want to name it yet, guys. If you have any ideas for what to name a sex bomb candle, let me know. <laughs> and then I got Endless Love again, because this one, is a favorite of mine. Okay, so Aztec candle, uh, besides the, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. Actually, I'm not gonna complain. It's literally like 0.1 ounces that is, um, I'll show you, I'm just zooming in myself. But yeah, look at that. It's like, here's one that's full. And here's the one that spilled. So it's really not that much, but for a candle maker, you want you want all your fragrance. You know, you paid for it, you're gonna use it for your business. You kind of want them to do things right. But I wanna be the bigger person. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are ready to create some amazing candles. I'm just stocking up this weekend. As you can see, I have my scale, my measuring cup for fragrance oil. I just use these from Chipotle because I eat there every day. <laughs> and then my wick holders from Lifestyle 3D Printing. I'll put the link down below. These are really great. My luxury dream vessels. I'm gonna be making a honey vanilla candle today, and I'm going to be using my Oxford vessel to make an apple cider donut candle with my wick holder here, fragrance oil container. The thermometer, always need this. And this spatula, guys, I tell you about this all the time, but it changed my life, okay? It helps you chop the wax. You chop the wax with this, and, and it's a great stirrer. It's a phenomenal stirrer. So yeah, get one of these. I'll link it down below. I got it from Amazon, it was like 10 bucks. Hot glue gun, always need the hot glue gun. People use stickers, I find hot glue is more secure and safer in my life. And then here's some CD10s. Guys, I would test like hardcore, and CD10s work with my coconut wax, with my Zen tins, and my Oxford jar. So I am very lucky for that, because you know how hard it is to find supplies, or the fact that you have to order separate supplies for things cost more. So yeah, it just saves me like $3 each time I order wicks. So. And then guys, as you can see here, we got the pouring pitchers. I'm gonna be using this for my honey vanilla candle. And I'm gonna be using this for my donut candle. And then here's all the wax, the coconut apricot cream that everybody needs, that I'm so happy I have from November. All right, y'all, let's get it.
So this one was really easy. For the apple cider donut candle, I only did one ounce of fragrance oil. And it was just apple cider donut. I didn't add anything special like the honey vanilla. <laughs> So here's my secret honey vanilla recipe, you know, the honey vanilla, some sugar cookie, I throw in berry vanilla, vanilla bean has been incorporated, ice cream parlor, all of these amazing scents create a yummy, delicious honey vanilla candle, guys, so here's my secret. With my honey vanilla candle, I do about 11 ounces of wax just so that we can get it to about 12% fragrance load and I found that that works really well for these types of candles. It really just depends on the strength of your scent. Like if you know it's a vanilla and it's a little bit of a not as strong scent, you kind of can go up on fragrance percent. Try to keep it below 12%, you know, that 12 is the max, okay? At that point, it's like, all right, don't go too far. Because if you do more, you probably won't get any throw at all. Here, I'm adding in just the nine ounces of wax for the apple cider donut candle because we're going to do about 10.5% fragrance load. Nothing crazy, just I know that that works best for the apple cider donut.
I see the way you move dancing, dirty Diana. You say don't get comfortable, I'm too hot to handle. Many promises, but no guarantees. Just say to believe all that I can be. I see the way you move rhythm, talks and you listen. Coconut spelling, no way you get down to business. Yeah. Said I'm drawn to you and just can't get enough. Question mark, mystery, even one thing for more. Caught me at first sight. I know that I could be the one to change your life. Worse for better, pardon me, where are my manners? It's a pleasure to meet you, can't help but admire. The present is pleasant, time stands still frozen Can I find the fine words here? Yeah, you got me stuttering But by the look on your face, I can see that you're loving it Is it real or facade? Can I tell what you got on? What's good, yeah, what's up? What's the deal like for one? Be some room for progression Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just living your purpose and love life. Okay, you say bye. Don't get comfortable. Too hot to handle. Many problems.